Hey guys, welcome to Bible class. Hope you're having a great summer so far. We miss you so much being able to come to Bible class and we look forward to hopefully being able to meet in Bible class again very soon. But until then, we thought we'd bring Bible class to you. What is something that you miss most about Bible class? What is something that you just look forward to whenever we're able to meet back with our friends and, and have your teacher? What is something that you really look forward to? Talk with it about your parents. Talk with it about your brother or your sister and just talk about what things you miss about Bible class. One thing that I miss most about Bible class is singing songs. That's one of my favorite things to do in Bible class. So why don't we take some time and sing some songs together? Boys and girls, we're going to sing a song about letting our light shine. Do you know what that means? That means that when we go to school or when we're playing with our brothers and sisters or when we're obeying mom and dad, we're going to obey God and do what would make him happy. So we're going to sing a song about letting our light shine. This little Christian light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little Christian light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little Christian light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. And Jesus grew in wisdom, which means he uh, made good decisions. He had knowledge. He listened to his teachers. In stature, that means he grew taller, so he probably ate his vegetables, and he grew in favor with God. That means he did what God wanted him to do, and then man, he healed people, and people wanted to hear what he had to say. He had compassion and love for them. So we're going to sing a little song about this Bible verse, and you can work on it every week this month, okay? Jesus grew, Jesus grew in four ways, in four ways, in wisdom and stature, in wisdom and stature, in favor with God and man, in favor with God and man. Jesus grew, Jesus grew in four ways, in four ways, in wisdom and stature, in wisdom and stature, in favor with God and man, in favor with God and man. Hope you guys sang along. I love singing songs and, and I'm so thankful that uh, we had our song leaders with us today in Bible class. This month, our theme is going to be growing in God. And so we have a special scripture for you and a scripture reader going along with that theme. So take your Bible and turn to Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and read along with us. Hi, welcome to Bible class. Turn, turn with me to Luke chap, chapter 2 verse 52. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Ryland, for reading that scripture for us. You did a great job. So the Bible story we're going to take from the Action Bible. The Action Bible, it goes through very good stories throughout the whole Bible and talks about God's redemptive story with some really neat and colorful pictures to help illustrate. So we're going to read the story from the Action Bible about Jesus in the temple. So let's turn there now. 
So let's read in the Action Bible, and you can look at the pictures as we read along in this story. If you remember in this story, Joseph and Mary had been sent to Egypt by God because King Herod had been threatening to kill all the baby boys. And so this is where they are as this story begins. When King Herod dies, an angel visits Joseph again in a dream. Get up, take the child and his mother, and go back home to Israel. The ones who were trying to kill the child are dead. Joseph takes the family back to Nazareth, where he sets up his carpenter shop. Jesus grows up strong and wise and filled with God's grace. Each spring, Mary and Joseph travel to Jerusalem to attend the Passover feast. They thank God for delivering his people from slavery in Egypt hundreds of years ago. One year, when Jesus is 12, the family goes to the feast as usual. In Jerusalem, Jesus spends his time in the temple with the wise men and the teachers. After the feast is over, Mary and Joseph set out for home. That night, when they make camp, Joseph, where is Jesus? He must be with his friends. I'll find him. But no one has seen Jesus. Frantic, Mary and Joseph go back to Jerusalem. They look for Jesus nearly everywhere in the city. Finally, they find him in the temple. Jesus is sitting with the teachers. Jesus, we've been looking everywhere for you. We were so worried. Why were you looking for me? You know that I need to be in my father's house. Jesus was there all along. Your son has been asking hard questions. He has given some great answers too. We are amazed at his knowledge of the scriptures. Jesus returns to Nazareth with Mary and Joseph where he continues to grow wiser and stronger. Mary cherishes her miraculous son in everything he does. Every day he becomes more pleasing to God and to other people. Miles away in the wilderness, another young man follows God's plan. But he doesn't hear God's call in the temple. He hears God in the desert. That's the story about John the Baptist and a story for another time. But that's the story of Jesus in the temple. I hope you enjoy that story from the Action Bible and Jesus in the temple. Have you ever been lost or have you ever been left somewhere and you didn't know where your parents were? That can be a scary time. But Jesus knew exactly where he was and what he was doing. So right now, let's go to God in prayer. And we have a special guest with us today to lead us in that prayer. Carson McDonald. So let's bow our heads and be very quiet as we say a prayer together. Let's pray together. Thank God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for us to grow closer to you, closer to us. Please help that the sickness to stop. And please help that we don't get captured by the police, that we can do bad things. And Jesus name, amen. Thank you so much, Carson, for leading us in our prayer for Bible class today. You did a great job. So as we close out our Bible class this week, I want to leave you with this challenge. Just like Jesus was in the temple and he was growing in God, my challenge for you is to take your Bible and turn to Luke chapter 2 and read that story beginning in verse 39 and read through the end of the chapter. But don't just stop there. Read your Bible every day this week and talk to God in prayer every single day. Until we meet again, I love you and thank you for coming to Bible class.